by Katie Rose Pohl. So I bought There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Pohl. Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. You are all you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to be doing a haul for you guys. So I have accumulated a number of books that I didn't realize was a lot until I put them here next to me to show you. In my defense. A good chunk of these I was sent, but also a good chunk of these I bought, so that's also not in my defense. But I am going on a book buying ban. Literally, I gave myself permission to buy two more books that are coming out in September because I've been anticipating both of those for a minute, and then after that I'm literally going on a book buying ban until December when the last Ember in the Ashes book comes out. So hopefully that'll help me <laughs> otherwise we're just gonna we're just gonna go straight to this haul okay so the first book i received was the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes this is the finished copy i actually received this around the same time that i got the arc because little brown books sent me a finished copy which i was blown away by and super excited about so thank you to them for sending this to me because I am really hyped for this book and I'm definitely reading it in September. The next book I was sent from Simon Teen and that is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. This is an ARC. I'm so excited to also buy the finished copy because gotta support my black authors. But I am actually reading this as I am filming this and I am really really loving it. The next book I was sent was When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This is her first thriller novel. This was sent to me by HarperCollins so thank you to them for sending me this as well and I'm really hyped about this. I have seen a lot of people excited so now I'm looking forward to it. I'm nervous because I'm, I'm a scaredy cat so now I'm gonna get scared but I love the fact that it does focus on the concept of gentrification in black neighborhoods as like the whole idea behind this thriller so definitely intrigued the next two books i bought i don't know why i did this because i haven't read the first book yet but i own nevernight and i own it in paperback and i had been waiting to get the other two in paperback because i wanted them all to match and so i bought god's grave and dark dawn in the paperback edition so yeah I don't know why I did this I don't even know if I'm gonna enjoy this trilogy but I have to read it now so there we go let's hope this doesn't backfire on me basically next two books are the same book okay in my defense I didn't realize that I was gonna get two copies of this because of reasons that I'll explain. So I got two copies of Star Daughter. So I got this first from Book of the Month. I saw that they had a copy of it that we could get. So I had decided just to get it from Book of the Month because I was like, ooh, that'll be cool. And then Fairy Loot, I guess, picked this as their Book of the Month as well. The last Fairy Loot box I received also had a copy of Star Daughter. So now I have two copies and I don't really know if I'm gonna keep both of them or not. If I do, I'm probably gonna lean towards the fairy loot because it is signed and these sprite edges are really pretty, but still trying to decide honestly because I was not expecting this. Next one is another book of the month that I got. I got two, a Star Daughter, and then I got The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've heard so many people love this book 
And since I figured I was going to tiptoe into literary fiction this year, why not go ahead and grab something everybody loves? I know that could be a hit or miss for me surrounding like books like this, but honestly, we shall see. The next book I got was Jade City by Fonda Lee. Uh, I've heard so many people loving it. I feel like the the entirety of book Twitter is reading it, so it's like a giant buddy read at this point. Erin loves it, uh, Monet loves it, uh, Kay I think is loving it or loved it. So honestly I feel like I'm just missing out because the whole group chat besides me and Chanel has read it. And I'm pretty sure Chanel's about to read it too. So I definitely want to read this. It's going to be part of a video that I'm doing that's I can't tell you all about until you see it but I'm very very hyped to read this and check it out. Next book I bought was The Beast Player by Nahoko Uahashi. So I didn't realize so this is actually I guess the anime is based on the book so this is actually an anime as well and it's an anime that I really really loved and I, it's been a really long time since I've seen it because they took it off of Crunchyroll sad tear but I didn't realize it was a book and so I got kind of excited when I saw it at my store and I was like "Ooh, I'm gonna buy this because I want to see how similar and different the book is from the anime because when I tell you the anime was so good I was sobbing because of how like emotional the anime was and how it just made me feel and so I'm like maybe the book will do the same exact thing <laughs> who knows at this point next I have The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen I've heard a lot of people love this and rave about it and I'm gonna be honest I have been really getting into fantasy this year I've been buying a lot of fantasy this year which has been really surprising so I'm trying to find like really good fantasy books everybody has loved and this seems to be one that a lot of people are have raved about so I'm definitely intrigued it's been on my TBR for a while so I figured since it's sat there for like a year I can buy it. Next I bought The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. So I don't know why I bought this. I'm gonna be honest the cover has always intrigued me like I really love the way this looks and the way it shimmers and the light. So that helped me like decide to buy this. Also I know people love this and I'm trying to kind of jump into adult fantasy a little bit more. So I'm kind of just collecting adult fantasy books that I know people like right now and then eventually I'm going to pick them up and figure out if this is my genre or not. <laughs> and the next book I have is Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. I've heard so many good things about Alice Oseman. I've heard so many good things about this graphic novel so when I saw that my store had it I was like, I'm gonna buy it because we honestly, I think that was the first time I had seen it in our store. So I was like, I'm gonna go for it and get it and see how I feel about it because everybody says it's really cute and I need some cuteness in my life. So the next book I got was Fable by Adrian Young. So I read Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young and I really loved that. And then I read The Girl the Sea Gave Back and I thought it was okay considering it was a companion to Sky in the Deep. But I'm really excited for this one because I think it deals with the concept of pirates and the gr a girl's a daughter of a pirate and I'm really excited to see how she does the story because I really do enjoy her writing and I think she does a really good job with building up her characters. So yeah, also this cover is just so gorgeous to me so I'm hyped for it. Next thing I bought was uh, Beast Boy by Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo. This is the continuation in the Teen Titans series they're doing. First they did Raven, now they did Beast Boy, and I could not resist getting it because one, I really love Gabriel Piccolo's artwork. He has a full on Instagram where he does a lot of Teen Titans and other um, art pieces and I really enjoyed it so I'm excited that he has a whole book now dedicated to his art but also the fact that it's dedicated to Teen Titans which is one of my favorite uh, superhero teams and like TV shows and everything like that so I'm very very excited to see how they do uh, Beast Boy this time because I really did enjoy Raven as well. The next couple of books in the stack I was sent by Simon Teen, so thank you to them for sending me all these books and bear with me as I go through them. So the first one I have is All This Time by Mickey Daughtry and Rachel Lipcott. I know these are the two authors of Five Feet Apart and Simon Teen sent us arcs of 
All This Time, which is their next novel that comes out in September. So I'm intrigued to see what this is about. I haven't read Five Feet Apart. I wasn't really intrigued by it, but uh, this doesn't seem to follow the same concept, so I'm interested to see what happens. The next book I was sent was Red Schools of Magic by Cassandra Clare. Uh, this is the Eldest Curses book one. I believe this is the series following Alec Lightwood and Mangus Bane, and I'm really excited. So I'm thankful they sent me the first one because I had been eyeing it for a minute, but I was gonna like wait on that <laughs> for a bit. Um, but then they sent me this, and they also sent me The Lost Book of the White by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu, which he also helped with this one as well. I'm sorry, I didn't see his name. Which is book two in the Elder's Curses trilogy series, whatever. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading these. I'm gonna be honest, I'm very, very behind on Cassandra Clare books, but I think next year I'm gonna make it a point to catch up. So I think I'm going to dedicate next year to be my Cassandra Clare year and I'm going to like work on catching up in her books because I read the first three in The Mortal Instruments and then I read the first book in The Infernal Devices. So honestly I need to just reread The Immortal Instruments altogether because I don't remember anything and then I just need to continue on with The Infernal Devices and then I can like jump into the other books. So I think that's my plan. Let me know if I should do that or not. The next book I received was Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. This is cute because it's an illustrated and an annotated edition. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you, you can't see that. That's okay. And I've actually been eyeing this book for a minute in our young reader section because it seems like a really popular series and there are a lot of books and I usually have to shelve these books and it just looks like a really interesting story so I'm definitely excited to check this out now. I'm definitely excited to see all the annotated and illustrated parts in this book as well. Where We Are by Allison McGee. So this is an interesting concept. So it's about two kids who one of them is trying to like save his parents from a cult and the other she is just trying to like keep from being alone again and i guess at some point he disappears and i guess he gets like taken back into the cult or something like that and so she basically has to rescue him so it sounds intriguing i've never read a book about cults before or that included the concept of cults so I'm intrigued to see how this is done overall. Next one is Don't Ask Me Where I'm From by Jennifer De Leon. I've seen a lot of people talking about this. I feel like a lot of people have enjoyed this so I'm really excited to pick it up and check it out. I think it's about a girl who basically is hiding her identity because she transfers to a really rich school and they kind of are very ignorant in certain areas and so she's kind of ashamed of her background and her heritage and just kind of who she is so i think that's the concept i've got from the synopsis so i'm definitely intrigued to see where this goes and how it plays out swear i'm almost done next book is cia martinez and the moonlit beginning of everything so i I feel like I've heard a lot of people rave about this as well, so I'm really excited to check it out. I know it deals with the concept of um, immigration and honestly uh, deportation and the concept of aliens uh, from what I got from the synopsis. So I'm intrigued to see where this goes and honestly this cover is really beautiful so I love that. The last book I was sent by Simon was Beetle and the Hollow Bones by Liza Lane. So this is a cute little Halloween graphic novel that they sent us. And honestly, I'm really hyped for this. I'm definitely going to be reading this in October because it looks really cute. And again, look at this artwork. It just like it's very Halloween themed and I really love that. So I'm excited to check this out. I don't really know what it's about, but I'm sure it's going to be beautiful just because of the colors and honestly the artwork. And then I have three more books for you that I bought myself, <laughs> which isn't surprising. So I bought There Will Come Up Darkness by Katie Rose pool i bought this because one of my co-workers was raving about this to me so i was like okay that's one person that told me i should read it then aaron from booked and busy was raving about it and i was like okay that's two people then chanel from chanel time started raving about it and i was like all right that's three i gotta buy it 
So, <laughs> I saw it at work and I bought it. I really love this paperback edition too because it's gold and then the map on the inside is purple. So I was like, that's cool. I liked it. So I'm definitely intrigued to kind of check this out. The next book I bought was Know My Name by Chanel Miller. I bought this because of Chanel from Chanel Time. <laughs> because she read this book and she like loved it obviously it's really hard and heavy and it's a very intense book and topic but she did enjoy it and I wanted to check it out for a while so in case you don't know this is written by the girl who was sexually assaulted in the Brock Turner case and this is basically her taking back her narrative and her voice and I am all here for that. Definitely trigger warnings. I don't know what all goes into this, but please, please look up trigger, trigger warnings before you look into this or pick it up or buy it or anything like that. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be looking at the trigger warnings because I know it's gonna be intense and it's gonna make me angry, but I definitely am interested in reading this book. And the last book I bought <laughs> was Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I bought this because of Aaron and Kay because they were raving about Red Queen and I was like, well dang, if y'all liked it so much, now I kind of want to read it. And then my best friend literally texted me like a day ago and was like, oh hey, I bought the Red Queen. And then she's loving it. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna go buy the rest of the series. And I was like, everybody's loving this book. Okay, now I gotta buy it. So that's three people. So I'm definitely intrigued to read this and look into it. I think I'm going to be trying to buddy read this with Aaron and Kay. I don't know, but I'm going to put this in the universe and maybe they'll want to do it with me. All right, so that was a really long haul. I'm so sorry. Again, I'm really caught up now, so I'm definitely going to try and keep my hauls shorter in the future. But yeah, if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave all that in the comment section down below. If you're not going to leave me comments, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.